house is located in Hobart, Tasmania. It's in the suburb of Sandy Bay. With this project, we had a focus on honest, robust materials that will age gracefully over time and get better with time, and that would really help settle the building in the landscape. We chose to use terracotta in the project because terracotta has a proven durability. Clay has actually been used in architecture since, well, I think the beginning of architecture. So you know it is a material that's going to last. The Cotominetti terracotta tile is one of their, what they call machine made range. This one is called Aratato de Crudo, or we call it rustic. It's a clay tile with a very subtle, slightly metallic glaze on it, and it's not installed with grout, so you get this lovely shadow play in between the pieces. We've learnt that real terracotta, being from Impruneta in Tuscany, has some very special properties as far as durability. The Romans used it in urns and they used to ferment wine in it. And in fact, the Manetti family have a winery and they do a small production every year of wine fermented in their terracotta urns. The Statue of David is standing on the floor made of Tuscan terracotta. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people have been walking over that floor over the years and it looks still like brand new. So there is a definitely a difference between what is truly called terracotta and what is actually just a clay tile. The factory was founded in 1780, so a lot of their manufacturing techniques are hundreds of years old, and that gives this product a very, very special appearance that can't be replicated by some sort of new factory. It's only going to look better and better with time. In this project, we've used terracotta in the front entryway on the floors and the walls. Now, the reason for choosing terracotta here was that the front facade of the building is a black brick and we also have a dark render. So we really wanted something that would offer a bit of warmth. You can actually see these really beautiful swell marks and texture that you would normally get in a tile. And the fact is that it is through this traditional process of making it that each tile is slightly different to the other. So you do get this really beautiful variations in the wall. When it's baked, it naturally comes out a reddish color. And also sometimes it leaves the oven and it has some white flecks in the material. What you do with that is you wash it with a slight mixture of phosphoric acid, which is a very gentle acid, and water. It dissolves the white flecks off the material, so you end up having a material that looks like that. And that's prior to sealing it. Sealing of terracotta is a very easy process. After you remove the white flecks from the material, you wait for the tile to dry, and then you just apply the sealer, which is simply wiping a cloth or a sponge over the floors or walls with the sealer and it's sealed. After many years, it actually gets stronger and stronger, but when it's new, it's best to seal it. This is a sealed piece, and this piece here has a slightly different sealer on it, which enhances the depth of the color more. But generally, the sealers that we recommend are just a penetrating sealer, solvent-based, and they don't change the appearance of the material at all. Probably my favourite part of the house is the upstairs terracotta courtyard. It's wonderful to see it used on the floor and up onto the wall with these terrific wall lights hanging off it. The colours, the textures, the materials and the design overall is just fantastic. The rustic nature of the terracotta tiles just adds another level of character and narrative to the project where it could be just all smooth surfaces and be a bit plain and boring. This actually gives it, you know, a bit of personality. Terracotta tiles are supplied either as just a single loose piece or they're sometimes supplied like that, which is actually two tiles, which are easy to split. Often the tiles have, after they've been split, a slightly jagged edge. This is a traditional old proper terracotta type of product, so you generally accept that is the way it is. So if people who want to do a two millimetre grout join will find that rather difficult unless they shave off the roughness from that edge. Generally, most people want to do it as they've been doing it for centuries in Italy and let's have it with a slightly wider grout join. Now the terracotta tile is used mostly externally, but in the downstairs bathroom, we actually 
used it as a feature behind the Agape bathtub and the warmth that it brings to the space reflects throughout the whole bathroom. One of the other things that I like about this is the fact that the terracotta wall sits opposite a mirror. So no matter where you are, whether you're brushing your teeth or whether you're in the bath, you're always seeing the terracotta and, and that warmth that it reflects is always a part of your experience in here. Seeing the completion of such a magnificent house as this one, it makes me very proud. And in fact, that's made all of us at Artodimus very proud. Although we've been working with Cotto Manetti for a number of years, it's only been recently that we've realised that they can make all sorts of customised products and not just tiles. Amazing customised three-dimensional products such as furniture and lights and tables and basins and all sorts of things. So it's not just a tile company. Manetti have recently offered us two different types of terracotta which have had a pigment added to them. So instead of being the typically bricky red orange colour, they've become these beautiful deep brown colours. Every year there's something new from them and they're just a supplier that we're very proud to have on board. The Minetti family that have made these tiles, it's a family business and they've been making the tiles since 1780. An incredible legacy and it's really great to be able to bring a product that they've cared about within their family for so long and be able to put it into a home for my family. I feel very privileged to do that.